So uh, stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. So first off, I've got a full face of makeup or whatever's left from what I put on that morning. And what I like to go in with is a cleansing oil. Recently, I've just been kind of finishing up this Bobbi Brown Soothing Cleansing Oil. I actually do have another one of these. I love this. It's a thin formula um, for cleansing oils, very similar to the MAC Cleanse Off Oil, um, thinner than the Origins, and then definitely much thinner than like the Josie Marin one. It's definitely one of my favorites. I like the thinner formulas um, of cleansing oils. I feel like they spread easier. You have to use less product to take off um, the same amount of makeup, so I definitely recommend this one. After cleansing and really massaging the makeup off my face, I do take the cleansing oil into my eyes as well. So that's basically my main makeup removal process. I take some lukewarm water and um, the mixture of the water and the oil create kind of this like milky texture and that washes off. And then I go in with a gentle cleanser and one that I featured in a favorites video before is the Elemis Tri Enzyme Resurfacing Facial Wash. This is a creamy but also exfoliating facial wash that smells wonderful. It's just a really nice experience to use. As with all the Elemis products, it has just a nice scent that really makes you feel like kind of spa-ish. This one's like kind of a fruity scent, um, this specific one. It's an appropriate cleanser for both morning and evening. Um, it does claim to be anti-aging as well. And then I've washed my skin. I've patted my skin dry with a towel, which I do actually... Um, only use a towel once. So I actually go through two towels a day. So usually two face cloths, sometimes like a little bit bigger of a towel. But I go through typically two face cloths a day, one in the morning, one in the evening, um, so that I don't repeat and get any kind of like, you know, bacterial um, residue on the face cloth because I do get bacterial breakouts. So my breakouts are actually much more under control since I started doing that. Then I go in with an exfoliating toner and I love to do this in the evening because I feel like it also helps with the final cleansing of uh, my makeup and everything. Like my all my makeup is already removed but I like to kind of exfoliate my skin. One of my favorites to do that with is the Mario Badescu Glycolic Grapefruit Cleansing Lotion. It's kind of difficult to say but this is one of the more aggressive um, exfoliating toners that I've ever used. It definitely leaves a very strong tingling sensation behind, even like after you're putting on products on top of it. Um, it's much more aggressive in comparison to the First Aid Beauty um, facial radiance pads, and um, I do enjoy it, I do like it, but it's not, I don't recommend it if it's your first time trying chemical exfoliants. After that, like in my morning skincare routine, I like to spritz the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water all over. I find that it's hydrating and refreshing and it feels wonderful on top of the exfoliating tingling toner. And as that's drying um, and kind of, you know, settling into my skin, I go in with a hydrating serum similar to my morning skincare routine. I'll do something like the Plantscription, Origins Plantscription one that I love. And recently I've been enjoying the Balms White Tea Pomegranate Restorative Facial Serum. Um, this is very like light kind of creamy texture. It does sink into the skin pretty quickly and I do like it. Um, you can use it morning and evening, but because it's a little bit thicker, I prefer it in the evening. And then I go in with my moisturizer, same, it's the same moisturizer as my morning, um, that just gel-based moisturizer, which is the Origins Ginseng Energy Boost Boosting Moisturizer. I also love the PCA Clear Skin, um, there's a more Pacific gel uh, moisturizer that I love, but I just like to go in with those gel, lightweight moisturizers. And then um, I like to go in with my facial oil. Now, my facial oil of choice as of recent has been the Pi Rose Hip Bio Regenerate. I really feel that the Rose Hip Oil has helped um, keep my breakouts at bay and help just the overall health of my skin. Rose water and rose products and byproducts are just wonderful for skin and um, I've just been really enjoying this product a lot. The unfortunate thing about it is it doesn't smell very good. That's because it is a natural product, but you, I get over the smell pretty quickly. It's not that offensive, but it's just not necessarily pleasant. I don't look forward to the scent of the product. And then for eye cream, I like to go in with a more hydrating eye cream than I do in the morning since I don't need to worry about applying makeup after. Um, and I have been enjoying the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. As you can tell, I'm almost out of this. This is a huge container. It's the larger size. This is a very, very rich creamy eye cream that I really enjoy, but only for the evening because it is so kind of oily in texture, but um, really wonderful eye cream. 
And then last but not least, I can't forget about my lips. And as of recent, I've been loving the Rev to Miel by Nukes, which is a cult classic for good reason. It's been really warm out recently, and so it's been very, very creamy and not as like gritty and dry as usual. And I love both both textures of it. It's really a wonderful product. You can tell that it's really um it's just it just feels nice on the lips. It tastes good because it's just like sugar and honey. It's wonderful. But anyway, um, that is my evening skincare routine. I do switch out products pretty often. I love to test out new skincare. But these are tried and true products that I've been using recently. And um, I do recommend. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!